prepped a prototype bot for transport. Now you'll need to take it to the distro center south of Lake Knot City. If these autonomous delivery bots prove reliable, they could revolutionize our supplies distribution network. A lot's riding on this, so be careful out there. Keep on keeping on. A highway used to run through there, back in the day. The first expedition team left behind a paver, but to finish the job, you'll need more than that. Delivering cargo. Delivery complete. Displaying performance evaluation. Thank you for your continued support. Good work.
Thanks for the help. Bots aren't designed to operate outside the network service area. So let's get the distro center linked up already. Singularity, the possibility that someone might create an AI smarter than any human, but it never happened. Machines don't cause void outs. They can't die. They don't have beaches. No matter how far they come, machines will never understand death like we do. And because of that, they'll never truly surpass us. Get on the delivery terminal. I'll walk you through how to use the bots. And don't worry, I'll keep an eye on things from over here. These autonomous delivery bots are designed to process some orders for you. Simple, run-of-the-mill orders only. Take a look at what's available. Cargo transported by a bot is liable to get a little roughed up if the road's poor. On the flip side, a bot traveling on a well-maintained road is more likely to deliver cargo in better shape. Also faster, in case it wasn't obvious. Keep that in mind when sending them out.
wait for the delivery bot to reach its destination. As of today, there's just one, but if the test succeeds, we'll move ahead with mass production. Then you'll be able to dispatch them yourself. Oh, um, seems I misspoke. We managed to slap together another delivery bot for field testing. You can decide how to use this one. <sighs> Sorry, baby's fussing again. Thanks, Sam. We'll talk later. Good work, Sam. These autonomous delivery bots will benefit everyone, from folks in cities and way stations to preppers out in the back of beyond. But you must be exhausted. Why not take a break? I bet your BB could probably use one too. Head for the private room. Go on. Sorry, didn't mean to startle you. You were sleeping when I dropped by. Thanks for the shower. Right. Look, I gotta ask. I've been hearing things about you. She's in bed with terrorists. Don't trust her. She's just another dumbass Higgs fucked over. She's a goddamn hero, that woman. <laughs> Tell me, Sam, what does America mean to you? The way my dad made it sound, we were something special. The glue that held it all together. More than a nation. A symbol of freedom and hope. We could bring it all back if we kept on making deliveries and connecting people. He was sure of it. I was a wreck after he died. That's when Heeks made his pitch. Together, we can run packages from sea to shining sea. Back then, he had a monopoly west of here. We both stood to gain a lot from a partnership. Business was pretty good at first. But then, a year ago, when those fanatics started stirring up trouble, fuckers hijacked our system. Somehow, they got a hold of our security passes and used them to sneak into cities. And just like that, we're delivering guns and bombs instead of medicine, and I didn't even know. We were just cogs in a terrorist machine. Higgs was behind it all. And atop of that, he got his hands on an old school nuke that I ended up carrying right into Middle Knot City. You tell me then. Yeah. It was me. I blew it up. Could have been different if I wasn't so fucking blind. 
So I did everything in my power to stop South Knot City from getting destroyed. I tried to get the nuke out of the sea. But Higgs was one step ahead. He took his pound of flesh and then some. Some wounds. They don't heal. Whatever time I've got left, the rain took. So there you have it. Everything's true, except for all the lies. I don't give a damn about bridges or putting America back together. But I'm not about to let Higgs and some terrorists take my father's legacy and shit all over it. That's why I came to you. So, trust me now. I'll be there for you, Sam. All you have to do is call. new sites you've brought into the network have helped us to restore more of our archives. Unfortunately, I still haven't managed to dig up anything about the BB's origins. And I'm completely locked out of BB-28's service record. If I could at least access that, I might be able to tell you why you've been experiencing those strange episodes. Well, I'll keep at it. You do the same. Sam, until check the terminal for available orders. Order bridges. Dig set fragile up. He is dropping again. It's all in your cuff logs. And with the aid of the Cairo network, we were able to restore Middle Nut City's regional archives. The records corroborate her story. Don't need you to tell me what's true and what ain't. I could hear it in her voice. Son of a bitch fucked her over good. No reservations about working with her then, I hope. Good news, Sam. The bot you sent out made it to its destination. The test was a success. Got another one prepped for you to use. Thank you with my thanks. One more thing, Sam. A new delivery type has been added to the terminal. Your hard work's getting noticed. Because of that, there's been some talk of offering a premium service. Now, it might seem like a hassle to willingly take on extra restrictions, but if you succeed, you'll boost your rep even more. So, if someone asks you to deliver within a time limit, you could counter it by setting the limit even lower, thereby earning yourself a better evaluation if successful. Now, if you're feeling up for a challenge, give it a try.
Sam, sometimes other porters will return Bridges' vehicles to the garage. They're for everyone, so feel free to use them if you want.
There we go. Delivering cargo. Hello. Sam Bridges, right? We've been expecting you. The gauge you brought is going to save a lot of lives. Let me do a quick inspection. Oh. Wonderful. It's in perfect condition. Thank you. Once you connect us to the network, we'll be able to share our measurements with everyone. You mind doing the honors? I'm sure they told you, but this weather station was built before the Death Stranding. Bridges 1 came and fixed it up. 
Unfortunately, we lost contact with our weather satellites a while back. Interference from chiral clouds. So it's been tough to measure chirelium levels and predict timefall. But thanks to you, this weather station can finally function as intended. You made our jobs easier. Now let us do the same for you. We won't let you down, I promise. Take care. I see you got the weather station back online. Excellent work, Sam. When a region is integrated into the chiral network, it's also brought closer to the beach, in a manner of speaking. There's a significant impact on chirelium levels, and measuring that impact is one of the Cupid's primary functions. The more we know, the more accurately we can determine where to expect timefall and when. Without the chiral network, we'd be left guessing. Oh, and thanks to your latest accomplishment, you can now review the weather forecast via your cufflinks. Check your map. You'll see. Ought to come in handy when you're planning routes. I'll keep an eye on the chiral density from right here in my lab. It's not too far from South Knot City. Keep processing those orders and you'll put that region on the grid soon enough. Good luck, Sam. Good work, Sam. That's one more site on the grid. Keep it up and we'll be finished before you know it. The weather station's forecast should be visible to everyone on the chiral network now. Yourself included. You can access them via your cufflinks. It could be useful when plotting your routes. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. We've added a timefall shelter option to your PCC. They're perfect for keeping you and your cargo dry until the weather improves. Congratulations, Sam. Your PCC's leveled up, so to speak. It now has the capacity to produce more complex structures. I'll let Mama fill you in on the details. Sam. I've added a safe house schematic to your PCC. It's a fairly large structure, so it'll take a lot of time and materials to build. But once complete, it's pretty much identical to a private room. Give it a shot. A floating carrier is a kind of tractor car. Chiral crystals keep it suspended in midair, allowing it to move unimpeded over rough terrain. You can load one up with cargo and tow it to your destination with minimal effort. If one's not enough for your needs, you can hook it up to another and take two. Just keep in mind that carriers require a steady supply of chiral crystals to operate. Make sure you have enough to get where you need to go. Again soon, Sam. I know we will. Weapons restrictions lifted. safe house built. You good to go, Sam? First, equip your PCC and select safe house.
Sam, you'll want to get those materials over to the safe house sooner rather than later. Sam, this safe house will be a boon to countless others in the long run. I'm not just talking about the porters who'll use it as a stopover on the way to the weather station, but the people they help and the people they help. We're all connected to someone else, Sam, but you'll have the honor of being the first person to rest there. Keep it safe. Man like you. Predicting the weather is akin to predicting the future. Some animals have a kind of sixth sense that helps them to avoid danger. But we have something far better. The ability to gather data and act accordingly. Mm. Only humans possess this power to plan ahead. We have the capacity to live each day imagining what tomorrow will be like. And our imagination once gave rise to a rich, 
vibrant culture. But somewhere along the line, we lost sight of tomorrow. We reduced ourselves to animals, focused only on the here and now. has always been so good to us. Amelie was a dear friend in the early days. She saw the value in what we were doing and led the effort to get our farm up and running. We've been waiting a long time to join the Chiral Network. Let's have a look at that wheat you brought, shall we? Well, I'll be. Did you really bring us this much? How on earth did you manage? Oh, bless you.
So, Sam, you've been run down by mules after they pinged your cargo, right? Well, to help prevent that from happening again, we've upgraded your own cargo scanner. Say you're about to get pinged. If you time it right, you can return the favor and cancel out their pulse with your own. They'll be none the wiser, and you can carry on without worry. Timing is everything, though. using time fall to our advantage. Our farm will be a world first. Truth be told, we've got some test fields, but without the ability to predict time fall, the results have been less than stellar. The time fall around here was fairly regular, so we had a reasonable idea of when to plant and when to harvest. But then the terrorists went and threw everything out of whack. Too many dead, too many craters. Weather became impossible to predict. The network's forecast ought to help us get back on track, thank goodness. If all goes to plan, we'll be able to expand our operation and use Timefall to cultivate whole swaths of land. We'll continue our genetic research too, of course, and see if we can't find a way to help develop a sustainable ecosystem. Hell, maybe we'll even stumble into some answers about the Timefall while we're at it. We got our work cut out for us, but I'm up for the challenge. Thanks again, Sam. You've given us hope for a better tomorrow. <laughs> I can't wait for the harvest. That's the way, Sam. Halfway there. You can do it. Huh? Well, would you look at that? You've only just brought the Timefall farm into the network, and already we've got new orders. May as well make use of the return trip. Good work. New order available. Please act...